All right, the Scooby Wops is next, and we have the, uh, the, the wrist techniques, the techniques that bear it's, it's wrist techniques, but it's also wrist and forearm. It's this whole surface down from the ridge of the hand up through here that we're operating on. The first of these is called Canera. Again, like every uh, one of the main techniques going on in the, in the standard balance break form, you can start with the right hand, you can start with the left hand either way, stepping forward, forward again to make a circular form. The main difference between this and Oshitoshi is in Oshitoshi, we're above his wrist when we make this, this position. And as we make this position here, we're right down at the hand. We're on the edge of his, uh, of his hand as we set our, our own grip in place. And so because of that grip difference, as we go around this corner, oh, when you set up the position for the, what would be a normally Oshitoshi, you actually have this curl function. Right? We call it Kota Haneri. Because it's a Kota Haneri, you have two different potentials. You could step through and do a more Oshitoshi form of this like that, with that back foot if you like. But because it's an area, you can also step forward and around the corner and step over the hill with the right-handed foot and make the curl go for the lock. So when we think about the main differences between the Oshitoshi and the Kodahanari, just as we see them in, when we're doing the uh, 17 form, where we make our grip is the first big difference. Second big difference is if my grip is leading right hand and foot through the wrist, then you have this nice potential for control right here. If you're up on the forearm, you have a little less leverage and your stronger shot is to take the thing out with the inside leg, inside foot. So that's another salient point. This will be kind of useful. The Haneri lock itself, going through the edge of this wrist up to the coil of the elbow, down to the shoulder, up and over, and then out to the side again. Locking on the lead edge of your own leg, moving forward, and then as we press down and through, we curl a little bit. There's a turning out function. Everything's twisting slightly to exaggerate the coil at the wrist. So you have this hendary function that it takes very little pressure to, uh, to pull off. Uh, yeah. Out and around, up over the top, out to the side. There we go. Right there.